that homes, trashy yards, and overgrown grass, these are just some of the problems North Tulsa homeowners are fed up with. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live in North Tulsa with a closer look at what the city is doing to try and deal with these problems. Patricia? Well, Dina, one more thing that uh, residents are fed up with is homes that look like this one. You can see this home is pretty dilapidated here. The roof is falling in. The wall is falling on the side. The city telling us this home on the corner of Main Street and Jasper is going to be torn down in just a few hours this morning. Councilor Jack Henderson telling us he is working with neighborhood associations and code enforcement to get property owners to comply. This is what we saw when we drove by Chamberlain neighborhood yesterday. Multiple houses in one block boarded up, weeds and grass so tall it becomes a breeding ground for mice and snakes. Henderson says the ultimate goal is to keep property owners to comply, keep residents who do live there happy and safe, and to bring up property value. Neighbors we spoke with say it's an ongoing problem and ordinance officers say they see the most success when neighbors get involved. I don't know, I wish it didn't look like that, but I'm wondering where the people live or the people are that own the home, you know, really, because I don't know, since I've lived here, it's always been a mess over there. The gate's always been down and everything. Working with uh, our neighborhood liaison groups and 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 the neighborhood leaders were, were, were able to identify problem areas um, and, and be able to address those problems uh, quicker and more successfully. Now Henderson says he gets a lot of uh, he's getting a lot of results from the Chamberlain and Northgate neighborhoods where the associations are involved. Uh, but he knows there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in North Tulsa. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to tell you why the city is having so much trouble keep, keeping up with the high number of calls this summer. Live in North Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.